Today we're going to look at the middle four interchange law for two categories. Now, what we're really going to do is we're going to show how it comes from the functoriality of this composition functor. Remember that these in a two category are categories. We've got a category of morphisms from, from any object to any other object, and composition is then a functor. On objects, it takes some ones, a pair of composable one cells and sends them to a composite. And on morphisms, the morphisms in the Hom category are the two cells in our two category. So it's going to take a pair of two cells that are horizontally composable and send them to their horizontal composite. Now what we're going to show is we're going to look at what functoriality means here and show that it precisely corresponds to the middle four interchange law that we saw before when we were doing natural transformations. The key to seeing how this corresponds to the middle four interchange law is to remain calm and possibly give yourself a bit more notation. So let's call this functor phi. And now remember that this is a morphism in this product category, which we could call it's the pair beta alpha. So this gets sent to, we're going to apply the functor phi, which gives us phi of beta alpha, which in fact is what we were previously writing as beta star alpha. So to see what functoriality is, we have to take a pair of composable morphisms in here, say um, we might have beta primed, alpha primed, which we can compose with beta alpha, and we have to show that phi of the composite equals what we do individually, phi of beta prime, alpha prime, composed with phi of beta alpha. So now let's look at what on earth this beta and alpha and beta prime and alpha prime would be. So let me just leave that up there for a second and take this away. So if these are going to be composable, what that means is that beta, beta is something that goes like this, beta, and beta primed has to be composable with it, beta primed like that. And then this is going to go from, this is the part that goes from uh, y to z. We've also got to have from x to y something that goes from, see I think I've written this the unhelpful way around, I'm going to write it the helpful way around. We've got three objects, x, y, and z. I'm going to have, first of all, our pair alpha beta here. And then we've got our pair alpha primed and beta primed. Okay? And so their composability in the product category means that alpha primed and alpha are composable, and beta primed and beta are composable. Now let's see what this formula says. So on the one hand, we've got to compose in the product category. So how do you compose these two morphisms in the product? Well, you just compose them point-wise. So what this actually is, is uh, phi of beta primed composed with beta, comma, alpha primed composed with alpha. Okay? And so what is that? Well, on the one hand, we've got um, beta primed composed with beta, which is this vertical composite. Beta primed composed with beta. And we've got this vertical composite alpha primed composed with alpha. Alpha primed composed with alpha. And now we're going to do phi on them. And what happens when you do phi on them? It says that you take the horizontal composite. So that's what this left-hand side is. Now what about this right-hand side? This right-hand side says, do phi on beta primed and alpha primed, which says take the horizontal composite of beta primed and alpha primed. And then it says, on the other hand, you're going to do the horizontal composite of beta and alpha. And then finally, you're going to do this composition here in the Hom category, which means you're going to compose vertically like that. And so what functorality is saying is that Doing vertical composition first and horizontal afterwards is the same as doing horizontal composition first and vertical composition afterwards.